Non-fungible tokens NFTs, seem to be everywhere these days. From art and music to virtual land, these digital assets are selling like 17th century exotic Dutch tulips, some for millions of dollars. But are NFTs worth the money or the hype? Some experts say they are a bubble poised to pop. Others believe NFTs are here to stay and that they will change investing forever. For you to shape your own opinion, let's first find out what NFTs are and what they can be used for. What is an NFT? An NFT is a digital asset or a piece of code that represents real-world objects like art, music, and gay items and videos. They are bought and sold online, most often cryptocurrency, and they are generally encoded with the same underlying software as many cryptos. Although they have been around since 2014, NFTs are gaining popularity now because they are becoming an increasingly popular way to buy and sell digital artwork. In 2021 alone, NFTs market was worth $41 billion. This is almost the total value of the entire global fine art market. And it's not surprising considering the growing number of NFT utility cases. They are becoming an integral part of metaverses and blockchain-based games, and you can even buy property with your ownership proved by an NFT. Sounds impressive, but before we find out why NFTs are in such high demand, you should first understand, how does an NFT work? NFTs exist on blockchain, which is a distributed public ledger that records transactions. Most probably you have heard about blockchain as the underlying proto that makes cryptocurrencies possible. NFTs are usually held on the Ethereum blockchain, all the other blockchains support them as well. For example, Solana, Binance Smart Network and Tone blockchains also have their NFT token standards. NFT creation from digital objects is called minting. By the way, you can tokenize pretty much everything. Graphic art, GIFs, videos and sports highlights, collectibles, virtual avatars and video game skins, designer sneakers, music, even tweets count. Did you know that Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey sold his first ever tweet as an NFT for almost 3 million dollars? Essentially, NFTs are like physical collector's items, only digital. So instead of getting an actual oil painting to hang on the wall, the buyer gets a digital file instead. They also get exclusive ownership rights. NFTs can have only one owner at a time. This is where the blockchain technology comes into play. It makes it easy to verify ownership and transfer token between owners. The creator can also store specific information in an NFT's metadata. For instance, artists can sign their artwork by including their signature in the file. Now let's try to figure out, why are NFTs so expensive? NFTs are also generally one-of-a-kind assets or at least one of a very limited run and have unique identifying codes. That's what makes them unique and expensive. This stands in sharp contrast to most digital creations, which are almost always infinite in supply. Hypothetically, reducing the supply should raise the value of a given asset if it's in demand. At the same time, it's important to understand that many NFTs, at least in these early days, have been digital creations that already exist in some form elsewhere. For example, these are iconic video clips from NBA games or digital art that's already floating around on Instagram. Famous digital artist Mike Winkman also known as Beeple, crafted a composite of 5000 daily drawings to create perhaps the most famous NFT of 2021 every day, the first 5000 days. It was sold at Christie's auction for record-breaking $69 million. It's not a secret that anyone can view the individual images from this collage, or this entire collage online and for free. So why are people willing to spend millions on something they could easily screenshot or download? Here's the key to understanding. Because an NFT allows the buyer to own the original item, 
On the top of that, it contains built-in authentication, which serves as proof of ownership. So, collectors value those digital bragging rights almost more than the item itself. That leads us to answering one of the most commonly asked questions. How is an NFT different from cryptocurrency? NFT stands for non-fungible token. It's generally built using the same kind of programming as cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin or Ethereum, but that's where the similarity ends. Physical money and cryptocurrencies are fungible, meaning they can be traded or exchanged for one another. They are also equal in value. For example, one Bitcoin is always equal to another Bitcoin. Crypto's fungibility makes it a trusted means of conducting transactions on the blockchain. NFTs are different. It has a digital signature that makes it impossible for NFTs to be exchanged for and equal to one another. And they are non-fungible. One NBA Top Shot clip, for example, is not equal to every day simply because they are both NFTs, right? But what's the point in buying a piece of code that simply proves your ownership when you can do some traditional paperwork? NFT technology is more than that, let me explain. What are NFTs used for? Blockchain technology and NFTs afford artists and content creators a unique opportunity to monetize their wares. For example, artists no longer have to rely on galleries or auction houses to sell their art. Instead, the artist can sell it directly to the consumer as an NFT, which also lets them keep more of the profits. In addition, artists can program in royalties, so they will receive a percentage of sales whenever their art is sold to a new owner. This is an attractive feature, because artists generally do not receive future proceeds after their art is first sold. Art isn't the only way to make money with NFTs. Brands like Charmin and Taco Bell have auctioned off thumb NFT art to raise funds for charity. Even celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Lindsay Lohan are jumping on the NFT bank wagon, releasing unique memories, artwork and moments as securitized NFTs. Turn out, everything can be digitized and sold. But with so many offers around, does it make sense to invest in the first token you see? Should you buy NFTs at all? Undoubtedly, NFTs representing digital art are risky, because their future is uncertain and we do not yet have a lot of history to judge their performance. Since such NFTs are so new, it may be worth investing small amounts to try it out for now. If you have money to spare, it may be worth considering, especially if a token holds meaning for you. But keep in mind, an NFT's value is based entirely on what someone else is willing to pay for it. Therefore, the price is driven mostly by demand, not fundamental, technical or economic indicators. This is one more difference between NFTs and crypto stocks, which rely on investor demand. If you are a newbie in crypto sphere, most probably you do not have a big sum to spare and there is no reason to risk your money by investing in the projects you haven't researched. Consider buying an NFT that has some utility and can help you generate some profit. For example, you can purchase an NFT character to explore a metaverse like Decentraland or try a play-to-earn game. Most probably, you have heard about Stepn, a move-to-earn game where you buy NFT sneakers and earn cryptocurrency for your physical activity. Let me speak in another great example of an NFT that generates your profit while you are completing some real-world tasks. In this case, study English. It doesn't have to be a collectible. Some NFTs can bring you much more benefits than simply ownership. And it's a great way to start exploring the industry. That said, approach NFTs just like you would any investment. Do your research. Understand the risks, including that you might lose all of your investing dollars. And if you decide to take the plunge, proceed with a healthy dose of caution. That's it for today. If you like this video, hit the like button, turn on notifications and don't forget to subscribe. Because we are preparing more useful guides and tutorials to help you through the crypto industry. See you!